Well, it's uh, Thursday about five minutes after 12. The tide is low in about an hour here on the bay. And you know that the Mumbles man went twice yesterday, was unsuccessful in two spots. Well, we're going to try, I say we, I can't reach the Mumbles man today. He must be either honey doing somewhere or he's already out spinning, which is a possibility I think is right. Anyway, the guru called me and the guru wants to go. The guru's been two days in a row at the ocean front and nothing up there. So we're going to slip down the street here to Gray Matter City where we find all the gray matter and uh, see how that is. He's already there. I told him I'd meet him there in about five minutes. So we'll stand by. I'll get back to you in a little bit. Who's detecting mobile? I know he's here. There's a big old osprey. As I speak, the bulldozers, the dredge, are going to crazy down there where our little hot spot has been for the last 20 years. The way is a little bigger than I thought. There's a guru. I don't know if you can see it or not from here, but that's a dredge. Great Lakes Docking Dredge. Tide's not as low as I like it either. Stand by. Grass line, the tide's got up pretty high here. This is where the gray matter might be right along in here. Now see how the gray, how the guru's making that, but it's a nice grass. Nice grass line here. And the beach is wide. I don't know if that's good or not. Good or not. Stand by. I'm headed that way. Well, the first target's a strong 11. Ten or eleven. That's a strong ten out of the ground. And it is a strong piece of aluminum. Solid seven. Looks like a cruddy penny to me. Oh no. Not a penny. I can't tell if it's a shotgun shell or a button. Don't find many shotgun shells here, so. It's coming apart fast. I'm going with a button theory. Solid. Got that sort of bell tone to it now. I think it's iron.
I just saw a miner come up. It's way deep, so I'm thinking iron. But it's still solid, 16, 17. Because we got it. Aha, aha, that's where that minus was coming from, a deep old cap. Corona, the best. This may be a bottle cap. No. And I thought it was a piece of iron, but it looks like it's a piece of copper with a bunch of iron on it. A piece of wire or something. You never know. Looks like an iron nut with a stainless bolt on it. I mean, an iron uh, screw with a stainless bolt on it. It was a really choppy, mixed up signal. But you can see, I think that's what it is. I don't think it'll fall through. Interesting. Got a nice 14. Now it's got some minus numbers, might be a cap. I don't see no cap. Well, whatever it is, we have it. I don't see anything. Maybe it was small and fell through. Yep, that's it right there. Some little piece of aluminum crap. Solid, real shallow. That's reading 18 and 19. Looks like more crap to me. Unknown aluminum crap. Right here to drop off. I don't know what it is. Piece of wire of some sort.
We've got a choppy three. We got some iron sounds. We got some more of that same kind of wire. Battery, 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 I think. That's winter storage. That's where they store them all up in the wintertime. Sometimes the, they'll get buried right in the dune. <laughs> I'll probably show you one in a while if I go far enough. We've got a five and a seven jumping a little bit between both. We got it, but I don't see anything. I don't think that's it. Could have, could have fallen through too. Stand by a minute. I told you this or not, Guru, Guru has been down the water a little ways. He found a load of sinkers. Great matter. And he found this little piece of gold here. Looks like Omar Mung, the surf god. About 13 sinkers. Can't see no mark in it, but I can assure you it's the real McCoy. Just by the weight of it, it's really heavy for a little teeny thing. Omar Mung. Guru gold. I like it. Can you tell how long that's been out there? No, nope. came off somebody's chain, chains like that too, because it didn't. It's not broke anywhere, you see. Yeah. All right, Guru, you got the tiki though. That time I found something that was bad. Well, I got. Gray matter! <laughs> 15 here. I didn't uh, think much of it at first, but looking at it in there, I'm beginning to like it. Let's see what we got here. I'm out of there, Tiquito. It's knotted up real bad. I think I like it too much now. Lobster claws don't look too interesting. Come on, baby. Come on, fair. Wash that thing out of there. 
Oh, pull tab. I think. Oh yeah, a nice pull tab. That's number three for the day. I think I take you down on a first hand view of death, doom, and destruction. they're going to start right there they come this way about a half a mile 700 feet wide 10 foot deep a game changer Ain't much of a nut. I lit up with two nuts. I don't know what this is, but it's cool looking. The chain itself looks really good. And you get to the hardware. Hardware gives you a heart attack. Nice zipper though. And I'm going with shotgun shell on this thing. The Mumbles man did go to the land of Nada. I'll show you his nut in a minute. And it looks like to me, I should have gone to the land of Nada along with the Guru. But the guru got the gold. Danny dug a lot of clad today. And I think he said a uh, earring and a bling ring or I can't remember, but I'll show it to you in a minute. I ended up with a clad quarter and a cruddy nickel. Came in at 13. Okay, that's it. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Let's go check out the mumbles man now. Well, there's a Mumbles Man nut from the land of Nada. A lot of quarters, a lot of dimes, a lot of nickels, a gang of pennies, only three bottle caps, 50 caliber casing, spoon. I guess that's his bling ring there. He said that's all he found was some bling. Let's see if I can find exactly what he said. Silver earring possible. Junk ring, lots of clad. Okay, Mumbles, man, you did pretty good today. Now, we're going to wrap this up. See you people tomorrow. Good luck to everybody.